Hey tires, Darren here back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a famous pattern called the usual. This is a pattern that was designed by a legendary fly tire fly fisherman Fran Betters from upstate New York. Unfortunately he passed away in 2009 but he's left us a few really incredible gems of fly patterns such as the Oswald Wolf, the Haystack, and the usual. This is basically a haystack pattern tied with rabbit foot rather than deer hair. The snowshoe hair foot that's used to tie this pattern is a really nice dense hair and it has a little bit of translucence in it. It's almost like polar bear. Originally in the book Fly Fishing, Fly Tying and Pattern Guide that Fran Betters wrote, he listed this pattern using a gray thread but if you've ever seen any of uh, Fran's flies, you'll see a lot of them are tied with this fluorescent fire orange thread, and including the usual that he tied often. So we're going to be using that today just to pay homage to his, uh, his signature, I guess. All right, let's have a look at the materials and get started. Let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a dry fly hook. This is the Mustad Signature. It's the R50 and then the 94840 which is the old hook style. Just a standard dry fly hook. And I'm using a Uni Fire Orange in a 6 aught thread. So we're tying on a size 12. I tie these size 12 down to 16, sometimes 18. So we'll just put on a base layer of thread. Trim that off. And I have a snowshoe rabbit foot. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the fur from the bottom here. So we're going to tie the tail on first. We're going to take a small clump. And this can be a little bit tricky to tie with sometimes. So one of the tricks that I use is just to grab the piece I want and give it a little twist so that the hairs kind of bunch up and then I can give those a little trim. So we're going to use these guard hairs mostly and what I like to do is just all this under fur here I'm going to pull that out before we tie in the tail and I'm going to save that that's going to become the dubbing for this fly so I'm just going to put that aside and we're going to measure the tail out about the length of the hook shank a little bit longer if you like just add a few wraps I also like to just put one turn of thread underneath the tail just to kind of help prop it up a touch. I'm going to advance our thread a couple millimeters behind the eye and then we're going to take a larger clump for the front. Now, as I said, this fly is basically Fran Better's haystack tied with rabbit foot. The only difference is that the haystack was tied with a wing that kind of sat at 180 degrees, so it would uh, kind of envelop the whole hook, whereas the snowshoe, the usual, only is a 45 degree. And part of the reason that he suggests this is just that the 
natural movement of the rabbit stays intact. So I'm going to tease out that under fur there. And again, we're going to save that to use to dub our, our body. So we'll measure that out. Put the length of the shank. And I'm just going to come in and where the uh, tail is tied in. I'm just going to kind of taper that into there. All right, so let's move our thread down towards the tail. I'm going to take all this under fur and I'm just going to basically hand sort it and mix it just so I don't have big clumps. And then we're going to dub that onto our thread. One of the nice things about this orange thread is the way that the the cream rabbit looks on top of it. Kind of gives it a bit of a glow. So we're just gonna make a bit of a taper towards the head here. And you can see that orange thread peeking out from behind. So when we get up to the wing, we're just gonna pull that the wing back a little bit. Just gonna put a bit of dubbing on there before I get up there. And we'll just add a few wraps in front of the wing. That kind of helps it stand up a little more. And then we're just gonna add a whip finish. If you're having trouble putting the dubbing onto the thread, of course you can use a little bit of dubbing wax. This snowshoe hair is fairly tough to dub. A little bit of wax doesn't hurt. So we just add a whip finish, trim that. And there you go. That's Fran Betters, the usual. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.